35% of all food grown in the U.S. is eventually wasted. It's not consumed. Worms convert what's in that waste into microbes and things that plants can use to regenerate themselves. Anybody with food waste, anybody with a garden wants to have a worm composting operation. Look how easy it is to reduce the amount of waste that we have. That's a half a pound of worms, that's four or five hundred worms. Worms and regeneration of soil are critically essential to the long-term health of the planet. I'm Zach Brooks and I'm the owner of the Arizona Worm Farm. We turn garbage into food. When we bought this farm three years ago, it was a cotton field. The way you farm cotton in Arizona is you drench the soil with an herbicide and then you buy a genetically modified cotton that's the only thing that'll grow in that soil. First six months that we were out here outside of our garden, nothing grew. We didn't even get weeds. The ground was just dead. And yet by putting in compost and castings, we used some cover crops, we're able to get some pretty impressive growth. Vermicomposting is the process of feeding decomposing material, feeding it into a worm, and producing fertilizer as the culmination of that process. We take food waste and we put it in with the worms, and the worms do everything else. It takes four to six weeks for a worm to fully consume most organic material, and then we harvest their poop, harvest their castings, and we use that castings in our gardens. And there's about three or 4,000 varieties of worms, but there's a limited number that operate in the compost level. Worms um, genetically will operate in the compost level, at the deeper root level, and what we call earthworms, deep burrowing worms. The composting worms that most people are familiar with are red wigglers, and then European nightcrawlers and African nightcrawlers. Red wigglers are awesome composting worms. They're the Cadillac of worms. They stand temperature extremes the best. They'll, they're pretty fat and happy between 30 degrees and 90 degrees, and in our bins here outside in Arizona, we never worry about them on the cold side. Um, we take care of them a little bit on, on the hot side, but they operate widely in that area. They're fast breeders, they're active eaters, they're good composters, they don't wander off. It's just a really good composting insect. Everything out here is based on rotting garbage. Everything out here is decomposing, but if you do it right in your home bin, your bin won't smell. We're processing 120 cubic yards of rotting garbage every single week. It does not smell. Your bin won't smell. If it starts to smell, that's your early warning system that you need to do something different. I'd love for you to uh, reach into this green barrel behind you and just grab a handful. You are wrist deep in pure worm crap. All right. There's no native soil in that. So when you grab that and you say it feels like dirt, there's no dirt, classic dirt in that. That is, it's pre-composted food waste, it's horse manure, and it's landscape waste. 